Okay, so we've got our Swift Conti Gi Sport 584 on the uh, Fiat Ducato. It's a bit blowy out here, as you can see, it's getting a bit blown away. Um, down this side, we've got the uh, the water, fresh water, which has got the uh, 12 volt socket next to it for the water pump. Okay, nice locker in here for all the locks. <laughs> Didn't undo that one. Yeah, must be unlocked, unlocked it. Okay. Down below, another locker, all the water supplies. We've got the, uh, the, the waste drain, the water grade hose. Filler cap attachment, brilliant, for uh, filling up your fresh water. But good luck with that. Electric hookup. Standard for your uh, air dryer. <laughs> and the coffee machine. <laughs> Toilet set. Usual. Nice and clean still. Okay, round the back. We have the uh, two cameras. One for reversing and one for your rear view and uh, the Thule bike carrier, which we've not used yet. Actually, we've used it once for my bike. Uh, pretty decent, well, it didn't fall off, but it did have 84 bungees on it, so uh, it was never gonna fall off. Okay, around this side. The main locker for all of our uh, bits and pieces. This is also under the bed, so uh, probably can't see a lot in there because it's really dark, but uh, all you need to know is everything's in there. Fence for the uh, fridge, awning light, awning light, just to show it works. <coughs> and then we've got the gas locker, two bottles in there, all good to go, never going to run out of gas. And that's pretty much it for outside, so uh, let's take you inside. show you the inside of our motorhome. So I'll start with the shoe locker. <laughs> Take my lovely shoes off. I think every motorhome owner has a pair of these lovely things. So, oh, that didn't happen. So little lovely shoe locker. Space for a few pairs in there. Tends to be filled up with mine if I'm honest. Um, right, let's switch the power on. So everything is controlled on here, and we also have the app that we can get on our mobile phones as well to control everything. Um, so at the front here, obviously we've got our two captain's chairs, and then we've got seats with seat belts for two passengers here, which is quite handy. So lounge area, uh, we've got a table, and there's a little extension as well, um, but we'll perhaps show that another time. Um, locker space. So we're using these two mainly for kind of food and bits, but plenty of space. Um, we've got little buckets in, in most of them just to kind of divide things out, but you can get a bit more in if it's loose, if you pack sensibly. Um, blinds all around, which are great and just pop up. And then you've got your fly screen that pops down on all your windows. Ooh. Okay. Um, lights are really good as well, you've got your little spotlights and they've got the dimmer action on them as well. Um, we've got more storage space over here, again we've utilised the space with the little tubs. Uh, we've got uh, an Avtex TV at the front here, so we've got kitchen in the middle, um, microwave which gets a little bit of use but not loads, we do tend to at the moment go on hookups because we don't really know what we're doing. Uh, cupboard space up here, chock a block. Um, does come with a plate rack, which didn't really work for us, so took that out and we bought a little plate rack here from Home Bargains, which just utilised the space a little bit better. I do want some more storage solutions for the glasses in there. Anyway, um, you've got your two sockets here, which is a coffee machine, yeah, um, but quite handy that they're turned on the side. 
sink area, we've got the stove, and we have got the electric plate and then the three gas burners. So you've got options there. Got the oven and grill, uh, which is obviously all gas um, and it does cook quite slowly, not gonna lie. Um, sink, and we have found that the Ingenio pans, which we have at home, have also been proven really, really handy space-wise for the motorhome. You just use the same handles for them so and they pack away really really easily uh fridge got the fridge uh this is another thing that we really liked about this motorhome it's got a really nice big fridge um so you can put all your essentials in there it's one of the essentials for motorhome travel um, and you've got a little freezer compartment at the top here, just enough for whatever you may need. Don't need to quite get pizza in there. Um, and the door opens both ways for the freezer and also for the fridge. So if he's standing in my way, I can get to the fridge no matter which side is getting in my way. Quite handy. Um, another little space up here. Got some more food bits in there and um, little tubs. And then you've got your aerial up there. Again, that's not really my department. Uh, moving through to the bedroom. Fixed bed, which was really important to us. Um, not made up at the moment, but just um, for the winter, because we're not obviously able to get out in lockdown too. Just put a cover over it and stripped all the bedding down. Um, locker space up here for clothes. Again, plenty of space, um, utilizing the little baskets just to pop everything in. This is all my space, and, that, and that's his. I think that's a fair ratio. Uh, seems fair to me. Uh, very important, we have a first aid kit, which stays in here. Um, this is heated behind here, so I get to sleep this side so that I'm always warm. Uh, we have got the pull-out divide here, but we don't really use it because it's only the two of us. So that just clips away easily, she says. Um, wardrobe. So plenty enough space for the two of us. Um, so you've got your hanging space all across the top there. Um, and then we've got the shelf here as well, which again we use baskets for. Another shelf down here. Essentials at the bottom, like your fire blanket, um, little step stool, etc. etc. This is one of my favourite little bits about the motorhome. Little vanity area, brilliant um, LED lights, sockets, you've got two USBs so we can both charge our phones, hair dryer point, very important, and obviously your light control, and then you've got two little drawers, so all my makeup and stuff goes in there. He's allowed this drawer. So this is the table that we use up the front in the lounge area. And the extension to that is in the wardrobe, just at the side. Um, Ricky, do you want to talk through the other bits in here? More cider. Essentials. More cider. Essentials. I think that's probably everything they need to know. Yeah. Aqua roll, chairs, um, ramps, outside thermal screen in that red. Oh, yes. Cover, that's, we use that all the time, yeah. saves condensation on the inside. Brilliant piece of equipment. Uh, I think that's kind of it, really. Um, got another TV here as well. This one is from Aldi, um, the median brand, and actually it gets really good signal, doesn't it? Yes. So, we have our lovely toilet, standard. Loads of storage in here, absolutely loads of storage. Um, really pretty as well. I think it's a really classy bathroom and the lighting's lovely. Absolutely tons of storage, so I get all my bits and pieces. Again, that's mine, that's mine. This half is mine, this half is his. I think, again, for a ratio, towel um, radiator, which I absolutely, again, love. It's brilliant um, for drying stuff and obviously keeps you cosy warm. Little sink area, does what you need it to do, and I love the lighting. Again, more storage under here for all your essentials bits and pieces and then I'll step out and then we've got the, the shower so perfectly adequate space in there for 
for a fully grown six foot man. Really nice um, flow of the water. Um, obviously I'm not allowed to have too long showers because I have to fill up the water all the time. Um, so, so that is pretty much the inside of our lovely motorhome, which we love. So we hope you, um, you can't really say um, can I? Um. Right, stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound like that? I don't know. Okay, let's just cut this out. Anyway. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed a look around our new motorhome. It's a Swift Contiki Sport 584. Um, we bought it in September. It's now middle of November. We had a quick whiz around Scotland whilst we were allowed out to play. Um, and we really thought about videoing then, had we? No. So um, we're kind of backtracking a little bit, but um, we've been inspired by some other people who share their travels and thought we would do the same. So we look forward to hopefully bringing you uh, a bit more interesting footage of some travels in the future. We'll, um, yep, hopefully catch you again soon, somewhere out and about. Stay safe. <laughs> that is the 2020.